Hello there, welcome back. This is a video to address how to get this sticky blue tack to work on the bottom of your candles here when you're making them. Um, I had a question about this, um, whatever you want to call it, school tack. Um, it's just the sticky stuff you use to stick to the walls to get papers to stick onto them. Um, we used to use them in schools. So I had a question, someone was having trouble with their sticky tack, um, getting, preventing the wax from dripping out of the bottom. Now the first thing that I want to say is that you have to be careful that your hole isn't too big. You want your wick to fit through the hole, but you don't want it so big that there's a gaping hole. So that's the first thing. Just make sure that when you have your wick through here, you can check on your mold to make sure you can't physically see um, into, into the mold itself. So I can't see anything in there. Now, the next thing you want to do is stick your wick to the side. And I've got a bunch of sticky tack like up on my, just above the camera. And you want to make sure this isn't hard. You want to work, work it to make sure it's, um, like able to be moved and it's, and it's sticky. Like there's some resistance in between your hands, your fingers, I should say when you're using it. So work it with your hands, warm it up, whatever you need to do to get it to move. And then I was, when I made these candles, I was really paying attention to what I was doing actually to get this to work. So the first thing I do is I stick it directly over the hole. Then what I do is I flip it over. I put my fingers into the mold and I'm pushing down on both sides to make sure that it sticks to the ground. I'll have to unmold this here to show you what I mean. Just a moment. I have my empty mold now, so I'm just gonna show you how I wick this up and use the sticky tack. So when I first bought this mold, I used my wick scissors here. Um, you can use um, a wick needle too. You don't have to use the scissors. And I punctured a hole in the top right where I wanted the wick to come out. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed the wick through the hole first. And you can do it from the top or through the bottom. It really doesn't matter which you choose. You just push it through and then make sure you give yourself a little tail at the top so you have something to work with and you just bend it over. Then what you're gonna do is you take your sticky tack, remember after you've warmed it up and it's um, like malleable, like able to be wiggled around and you know, sticky and things. And you put it on top, push it down, then um, flip it over, put your two fingers in and right, I'm pushing here and here, okay? So you can get some a visual of where I'm pushing inside. I'm pushing here and here down onto my surface I'm working on and then I'm going to push I'll just pull this up to show you so first I'm pushing here and then I'm going to push here inside the mold so just grab that again push my wick to the side putting my sticky tack on pushing down on the sides and the other sides yeah I'm glad I showed you the other way because it's hard to show you but just sticking it firmly onto there. Then I take just one of these little bamboo skewer sticks that I've broken in half and you just wrap your wick around like this. And then just make sure that you've got it tight like that. And then as you pour your wick, uh, your wax in, you can like adjust just gently to make sure that it's centered between the two poles there. So then you would pour your wax, let it cool, and then there's an unmolding video on how to do that. So basically before you would cut, cut that off, pull this up, just make sure that your wick is straight before you try to unmold it because otherwise you can possibly pull the wick right out of the candle wax and if you're using a soft wax that's more likely to happen than if you were to use a hard palm wax like this. I've never had a wick pull out of here because it is a strong 
strong wax. So if you're having problems with your wicks coming out of your candles, try um, a harder wax. Or if you like using soy pillar wax, then add a 10% beeswax or paraffin. If you prefer um, paraffin, use paraffin. If you like natural waxes, go with beeswax. You can get white beeswax pellets and add 10% of the beeswax. If you still have the problem, just up it to 20%. And that should help you with your wick falling, pulling out of the candle. So I hope that was helpful. Leave any questions below and I will either address them in a video or comment. And I'm here to help you. So I will answer every single comment. Take care. Have a wonderful time making candles. Don't forget to keep some for yourself and enjoy them for you as well. Okay, bye. See you in the next video.